Welcome to another uh, tutorial on using your Wii controller for fun with your Linux computer. Uh, today we're going to go into Wii Guitar. Forgive me, I'm working with one arm here, so forgive me if I fumble around a little bit. Uh, in my first tutorial I showed you WMGUI and uh, we're going to connect that uh, to our Wii controller, so I'm pressing 1 and 2 on my controller and clicking OK here. Remember we're connecting through Bluetooth, so make sure you have your Bluetooth adapter connected. After a few seconds, we'll be connected. And once again, you can press the buttons inside your Wii controller here. Uh, by the way, if you don't own a Wii control or a Wii guitar, a Wii guitar is just an, basically an empty case with buttons that connect to your Wii controller. Um, so you connect the same way. In this case, we're going to go up to settings here and go to this extension data. And now you'll see that we get a uh, these windows down here for the nunchucks and the classic controller and the guitar shows up as a classic controller. If I start pressing buttons you'll see them light up in there so this way we can find out what buttons are what like the first top button here is our A button under classic controller the next button down is B, X, and Y and then ZL under classic controller. Other things if I move my whammy bar back and forth you can see uh, it moving the little uh, power bar there and you can see that the uh, strummer is up and down so this is how you find out what each key is on your uh, Wii guitar I'm going to disconnect that and if you go back into your etc CWIID uh, Wii input folder where our default settings are we can cat out our uh, buttons uh, configuration file and you'll see that there's classic controller settings down here. Um, there, some of them are commented out. If you want to use those you uncomment them and assign them a key. Uh, I'll have a list off to the side in the description of this video to link to uh, what all the keys on the keyboard so if you want to do shift and control stuff like that uh, that will be in that list. Um, but I already have a configuration file made up. I'm going to call it, I've called it music. If I do that, you can see that I've just given those keys, uh, key T, D, G, and these are just uh, keys on the keyboard. That's you, they're indicated by the key part right there. And I'm going to use my Wii guitar with a synthesizer called ZYN Add Sub Effect. Uh, it's in the repos. Install it, and you got yourself a little keyboard synthesizer here. If we go up to instruments, we can show instrument bank, and I'm going to go down to guitar, and I'm going to select a short guitar because I kind of like that one. And now we got a guitar going here. Now the great thing about ZYN add sub effect is when you have your virtual keyboard selected here, you can press keys on your keyboard. I'm just hitting keys on my keyboard now, and they're assigned to keys on the virtual uh, keyboard there. Since I'm assigning them with my Wii controller here, all I have to do is WM input dash C and then my configuration file which is my music file. Press that. Press 1 and 2 on my Wii controller. The lights will start flashing. After a few seconds we will be connected. Now I can go to the virtual uh, keyboard here and and I can play music with my Wii guitar. You can do the same thing with uh, your drum kit, if you have a Wii drum kit, either with ZYN add sub effect, it does have a drum kit in it, or I'll show you in the future, hopefully I don't have a drum kit, but I'll show you how to do it with the Wii uh, guitar using hydrogen. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more, visit filmsbychris.com, and uh, feel free to rate and comment on this video.